Spy. This is Gore. I have with me here a year 2018 Honda BRV V edition. So let's have a look at this car and see what it is all about. Okay, so this Honda, this car is actually owned by Soka Malaysia. So uh, this car comes with uh, keyless entry. So hands come with the button to lock and unlock the car. You can use the key fob to lock and unlock the car. And then you can also use this button down here to lock and then do the do, do so. Okay, let's have a look at the engine compartment of this car itself. So this is where it is. Pull up the front the, uh, hood. Okay, I'm going to need both hands, so I'm going to stop the video for now. Okay, once you have opened, the, the, the support bar is actually anchored here. So lift it up and then anchor into that position itself. So this is a uh, Honda's uh, IV Tech 1.5 liter engine. Okay, so you can see down here, this is the washer fluid reservoir. The brake fluid reservoir is down there. And this one down here is your uh, engine oil refuel cap down there. The alternator can be seen from this angle down here. <coughs> this one is your engine oil uh, dipstick. So pull it out to check the dipstick of the, the level, the uh, uh, engine oil level. Then this is your radiator main filler cap. So do not open when it's warm. Instead, fill up the fill up from the spare tank uh, itself. Okay, the spare tank is uh, hidden next down here. So you need to curl, you need to look over the uh, front frame to see the the location of the uh, the spare reservoir down there. Okay, and then you have a battery compartment down here. Okay. Yeah. And then this is the ABS pump for the for the Honda is for this uh, Honda BRV itself. So the Honda BRV in Malaysia comes with only one choice of engine. There's a 1.5 liter engine. Honda BRV do come with two variants. Uh, as of as what I saw two days ago on Honda website. So there's an E variant and also there's a V variant. Okay. So you have a main head beam which is projector down here. You have a high beam. You have a turn signal and then one of them down here is actually the uh, daytime running light so uh, the car is off right now i cannot show you the uh, the daytime running light okay and then uh, being a v variant so v variant do come with a chrome ring like this kind and then it also come with a fun for clamp okay i have on the i have switched on the car itself uh the dil isn't supposed to be blinking or flickering like that that's because of the camera uh, the camera lens so the main headlight the high beam is on and also the uh, main beam the what they call it the uh, the fork lamp is on so this is the how the car looks like but uh, again uh, the dil is not supposed to be like that let me just turn off the rest of the light to see any if it gets any better ah okay I managed to get the, the light to stay on. I don't know. I just turn off the headlights. I turn off every other thing. Then leaving only the DRL light on. Uh, now you can see the correct uh, look of the uh, BRV in uh, in daylight. Okay, this Honda BRV come with 195, 195, uh, 60 series, 16 inch uh, sport uh, rims. And then the front do get ventilated. These brakes. Then the rear, rear, the rear get drum brakes from here, and then the tire, the rim, and the tire size are exactly the same as the front. Uh, so front you get ventilated disc brakes, rear you get drum brakes. Okay, then you have a LED tail lamp for the rear, and then reverse lamp, and then your turn signal down there. Then there is some uh, reflector at the bottom of the bumper itself. Okay, let's continue with the inside of the car. Okay, so it's raining outside. So we have to film whatever is on the inside of the vehicle. So uh, this being the V variant, so silver painted door handle, door lock. Okay, and down here you have your mirror control. So this is for left, as a right, and lock, and then the left uh, mirror. And then this one folds in the mirror. We'll see this function afterwards. 
this is for you to adjust the side mirror this one locks the door and unlocks the door and then this one here locks and unlocks the power window so when you lock only the driver able to operate the window whereas the three other uh, passenger door the power window will not be able to operate so release it like this and then this is power window control then you have the door handle down there and then a little bit down there you have your down there you have your pocket for the side you have a door pocket so that one is the bottle holder then some storage and then some speaker down there on the dashboard this being the v variant so there is the engine start stop button down here and then there's a button to turn on and turn off your traction control and this one down here adjusts the height of the head beam so uh, it's daytime so it's a bit difficult for me to show the head beam uh, leveling so uh, down there so that is the lever to release the hood and then at the side here you have a lever to release your petrol filler uh, cap down there there's this one down here Okay, so let's continue with the rest of the vehicle. So, as with uh, keyless entry, you have a push start button. So, uh, to properly start the vehicle, so press with uh, foot of the brakes. Okay, foot of the brakes. Then, uh, press the button once. The uh, ACC mode turns on. So, player turns on together with several other electrical uh appliances then press a second time you see all the diagnostic lights uh, begin to turn on wait for the diagnostic light to go off then put the foot on the brake and then start up the uh, vehicle okay so you have down here uh, you have down here your tachometer together with the gear position indicator you also have the speedometer with uh, several warning other lights on like handbrake and also seat belt and then the right hand side you have your multi info display the multi info display can be adjusted by only the lever down here okay it's currently showing trick b so if most people would leave the car in this position with the odometer showing so odometer shows this car has traveled 29,769 kilometers that one cannot be reset and then down here you have the trip a uh, button I uh, said trip A display down here so uh, <clears throat> so trip A and then the top here this is your fuel consumption gauge the car is not moving at the moment so hence it shows you zero kilometer per liter so if you driving along then the bar will go uh, higher up the more the bar go to this side the less fuel it use per kilometer okay then they have a fuel gauge at the bottom down here there's only one lever to uh, configure to set up your multi info display so while the while it's at odometer what you can do is just uh, press once it will show range so you have uh, with the fuel left in the tank this car can travel 113 kilometers okay then press a second time it will show average fuel consumption for uh, trip a so trip A, I've just reset a uh, half a kilometer back. So it's showing a new figure. So for trip A, you have uh, you, are, you are recording four kilometer per liter. Okay. Then this is for trip B. Trip B hasn't been reset. I think the previous renter just left it like this. So um, there is. So trip B is showing ninety three kilometer per liter. All right. So pressing the button one more time it shows you the clock and then with the clock blinking so what you can do is just turn the turn the lever this way to uh, adjust the time accordingly and then turn it this way to uh, to go this way and then back this way okay so turn turn it anti-clockwise to to put the clock backwards turn it clockwise to put the clock forward uh, let me check the time right now so time right now is 9.52 so 9.52 that way okay and then if you hold down the lever uh, it shows off and then if you press again it shows 12 hours so 12 hour that means the clock now is showing 12 hour interval that means uh, there's no telling of am and pm okay so if you press it one more longer one more time it become 24 hour 
So 24 hour, the clock shows uh, in 24 hour format. And then if I put to off, uh, the clock will not be displayed at the top. So switch back to clock. And then let's put it back on to 24 hours. Easier uh, to put 24 hours. Oops. Press too long already. Okay, 24 hours. And then pressing one more time, we just return you back to the setting. Okay, to reset trip A, if you want to start a fresh count, so what you need to do is just press and hold down the lever while showing trip A. So trip A will now be set to zero kilometer. And then if you press if you press it to average fuel consumption, because I reset the trip A, so average fuel consumption has been zeroed out. So no more reading. So you have to drive at least about a few hundred meters just to get the reading back. Okay, similarly you can do to trip B, trip B also you can do like that, okay, press and hold down, and then trip B has been resetted, so you can now begin a fresh count on how many kilometers you have driven for this trip itself. So what I normally do is, for trip A, I leave it as a service interval level, that means each, each time the car comes out from the service center, after a, major, after a service, I reset the clock to zero, and then each time uh, after I refuel the car, I'll reset the trip B to zero. This is how I use uh, cars with uh, with uh, two uh, trip meters. So you can use it, use it anyway, but this is how I, I I use it that way. Okay, then a little bit to this side. <coughs> this is the gear lever uh, selector. So if you change the gear, it will show the correct uh, gear uh, lever uh, gear position up there. Okay. Okay, let's go down here a little bit. There is a traction control on off button. So to turn on and turn off the traction control, you have to press a button down like this, press and hold down till it beeps. So when it beeps, it now show traction control off. That means the car is now dri driven without traction control. Then uh, if I press it, hold it down. Now you see uh, the sign is gone, meaning that traction control is back on. Okay, and then we have the steering wheel down here. Steering wheel for the V variant is a leather wrap like this. Okay, with uh, con steering control down here. So you can change your channel up and down for the radio. And then volume up and down. And then the different different modes of your radio like turning on, turning off and so on. So this car comes with SRS airbag. So for the front seat, okay, driver, the, SR, the airbag is in here. Okay, then on the left stop of the steering wheel, you have the wiper control. So, uh, all Honda cars come with this feature where you lift up the wiper. So, you lift up the stock one time, it will clean, you wipe the screen one time, then you put it down. This is for uh, non continuous mode. And then you push it down a little bit, this is slow. And then a little bit more, this is for fast moving. Okay, it also has a stock at the end to down here which is to control the wheel wiper so it's currently off and then there is a on like this and then there's a uh, spraying of the rear uh, screen down there okay it has two ends uh, one end has this one and the other end also has this this is in case you just want to spray the water so you just do it like this so you end up doing this on the windscreen okay this is oh sorry um, okay, this is slow mode. Okay, sorry, one speed only. Uh, sorry, uh, one speed only. On, off only. So this on. And then to spray water while the wiper is on, what you need to do is just put it this way. So when you do that, water come up from the back. Okay. To spray water onto the front screen, just pull the lever towards you. Water being sprayed. And then to spray water to the wheel, just do it like just one I did just now. Okay, on the right hand side, uh, you have your light control. So turn signal is done. This turn signal so on the right hand side stop. There is there is it's not like Honda Jazz or Honda HRV where you just tilt it up. Then the, there will be a lane change feature. So BRV doesn't come with a lane change feature. However, this car being a V variant, so it comes with fog lamp. So fog lamp off, uh, off fog lamp on and then down here you have your light control the light is set to automatic that means when, the, when when it's dark the light comes on 
and then when it's uh when it's light uh, when it's bright like this the light goes off okay you can momentarily turn off you can momentarily turn off the automatic headlight by bring it this way and let go this one turns on the position lamp and then this one turns on the high beam okay and then the fog lamp is operated in the, uh, independent from the headlamp but of course you need to on the light first uh. the light has to be in this position before you can activate the fog lamp so uh, <coughs> fog lamp off fog lamp on and then uh, headlight off off already uh. then if we turn the headlight permanently on then you can see uh, this beam here indicate that the, the headlight is on and then the fog lamp is also on in this case Okay, for high beam, you just have to push it down like this, and then to flash, pull it towards you like this. Okay, so this to flash the high beam. So this one for high beam is to flash the high beam to signal for people to pass or whatever signal that you want to give. So flash by pulling, push it down for um, turn on the high beam, high beam, normal beam. Okay, headlight must be on first uh, before you can do the high beam. Uh, Okay, the steering wheel has an adjustment column down there, so uh, let me get a better position. This is, okay, this is how it goes. So, okay, here's a lever like this. So, release it by this way and then adjust the steering wheel. The steering wheel can be, can be it's still adjustable like this. Okay, once you've got it in your right, in your favorite position, then lock it by pushing the lever all the way down like that then in the middle you have the main blower down here it's the main blower over there and there's one more down here for the driver position oh yes uh, I just saw this on the camera there's a little storage space down here on the driver side then uh, being a V variant you get the touchscreen display where you can play um, USB HDMI input and also auxiliary input okay we will talk about the radio afterwards uh, in another video sorry and then this one is your hazard your hazard light so hazard light on off and then a little bit to the bottom this is your Honda's uh, temperature control uh, climate control system for V variant um, Honda BRV okay so this button turns off the air conditioning blower is off huh? you can see blower off already now blow it on. <coughs> okay, this one adjust the uh this one adjust the um fan speed. Okay, maximum fan speed, minimum fan speed. One bar is minimum, cannot cannot go lower than that. Okay, let's put it this way. And then this one uh turns on and turns off the air conditioning. This one turns on and turns off the rear demister. Okay, this one specify. This one shows the mode of the aircon. So it's now blowing out the main uh, blower. So now it's main blower and floor. Main blower only. <coughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, it does not have any front windscreen demister. There's not. There's no gap out there. So there's no front screen demister. Okay, so unlike most other Honda cars, they have got front screen demister, BRV doesn't come with it, so that's why you have only the main blower, main blower and floor, and that's it. This is automatic button, one touch, maximum cool. Okay, temperature is at the lowest. Then you can press one time to return back to normal. This one turns on and turns off the air conditioning, so air conditioning is off. However, Blower can still blow, but when the when the blower blows, uh, when the blower blows out, it will be hot air, lah. Okay, and then okay. Yeah, notice that the air could listen to the aircon compressor coming on and off when I press the AC button. Okay, okay. The car has become more silent. The compressor is already off. Okay, compressor comes back on when I press this one. This one says for automatic air conditioning, that means it depends on the temperature in the outside of the car and uh, and it will set the, it will turn on for automatic cool, uh, cooling down here. So turn off, you can turn off the automatic 
air conditioning by turning it off and turning it back on again and then adjust the speed manually okay so once you touch once you once you touch any of these the fan speed or this or this the automatic mode goes off here okay, so automatic mode on you can turn it off by selecting this one easier lah easier if you press the button to adjust the temperature this one is adjust the temperature so it's in cell is in uh, celsius or some people call it centigrade so celsius so you can go on the maximum i think maximum you can go is only 28 degrees uh, celsius and then if you bring it down after 19 you bring down it will be switched to low lo this is to show uh, low uh, low temperature it means the lowest temperature you can ever get in the car itself okay a little bit down there you have your selector lever between recirculation and fresh air so if you are taking a long drive on the expressway a moment uh, occasionally switch to on because it will take in the fresh air from the outside because uh, if you don't the level of oxygen will reduce so uh, you um, although it's not that serious but uh, some people when they feel dizzy or drowsy they can just wind out the window or you can just switch the air condition to this mode to take in the fresh air okay i'm going to leave it this way because i'm in the city right now so in the city you may want you may want to leave it this way because city drives are very short just go to work or go to uh, the shops or shopping or something like that so the trips are not that long so you can leave it at the uh at that point there's a power outlet down here 12 volt power outlet okay then there's some storage down there and then you have two cup holders in front of the gear stick in front of the gear shift lever and uh, honda brv from malaysia they only get one choice of transmission which is a cvt so cvt transmission stands for continuous variable transmission so it's a, it's a form of automatic transmission where you have an infinite numbers of gears uh, the main reason is they want to um, so that the car can choose the best ratio uh, for for the for the for whatever condition you are driving in okay so you have the parking reverse just like normal down there then there's a space between the the, the gear and the uh, handbrake lever for you to store some small item and a little bit to the back there's a cup holder down here okay so on that side we have a glove box with the honda user manual so this is honda user manual down here okay and then on the passenger side there's still the door lock door open and close handle okay you have some storage down here together with the uh, power window control and then door open and close handle door pocket with bottle holder and the speaker down there and a little bit up here you have your um you have a door visor with the vanity meter for the passenger side and then above up here you have a light control so this is permanently on this is set to door mode door mode means if you open the door the light comes on close the door the light goes off after a while okay and then if you push it this way you'll be permanent off this is permanent on this is door this is permanent off okay you have your, your your rear view mirror down here so this uh, you have a day mode and then also the night mode night mode you can still see out, out the window but it's a bit dim eh? then you put it up here then this will be your day mode like this and then on the driver side there is a uh, vanity mirror down here this doesn't come with the car this is actually provided by the car rental company so car Okay, there's some uh, message down here about the fuel card but this one also don't come with the car this one is stick on by the car renter itself okay so this is so much so for the front of the car oh yeah sorry side mirror oops okay side mirror side mirror so select the right mirror and then you press this button to adjust the mirror to the right the left up and down okay so i put it back to my position then once you put it in the middle like this okay, in the middle already uh, then you notice that the, it cannot be adjusted okay then there's a 
lock and unlock button so door unlock and open and then lock to lock but then if you open once you have locked uh, if you open by the handle the door unlocks itself and so does the passenger side passenger side so unlock okay the power window for the driver side operates on a one touch feature so press one time goes down and then pull one time it goes all the way to the top however the passenger side doesn't uh, passenger side you have to hold it down to lower it and then to raise it like that okay and then once you lock the driver door can still open but the passenger side passenger side uh, okay no no function on the passenger side because I have locked this one so release then of course you can oh sorry wrong this one okay you can do it like this down here uh, lastly is the once you park your vehicle you can press this button down here to fold in the side mirror and then to fold it back out again like that okay we will look at the rest of the vehicle from here okay the driver side the driver seat can be adjusted the by these three these two lever down here and the bar underneath the driver side uh driver seat sorry so this one adjusts the seat back this one adjusts the seat height so the seat height can be adjusted by this way to increase the height and then to reduce to reduce the height you push it down like that and then there's a bar underneath here to adjust the uh the seat position Okay, this is the back door itself. The back door has a lever like this to open and close. And then there's a lock, door lock down here. And then this one down here is the power window switch. Some holding handle to hold the door to close it. And then you have a, uh, you have a door pocket down there together with a, uh, with a bottle holder. Okay, the rear do have uh, the rear seats are like this. So there is some bar at the bottom here to adjust the seat position so the seat can be brought forward and backward like this the seat cannot be lifted up uh, not, not like any other Honda HRV where you can lift up the bottom you can't lift, up, you can't lift it up that, that way because it's a seven seater seat okay you can adjust the seat position by the seat back by folding this lever forward and then uh, adjust so this is as far down as the seat would go okay compared to that one uh, that one, that one I just fold it up and then a lock in position. This one I have lock in position and I have already adjust the seat back. So notice the, the different position like that. Then there is a head, a head restraint. The head restraint has a button underneath here where you can actually press and adjust the height. So before you do anything on the seat, uh, before you need to fold down, you need to make sure that the, the head restraint is at the lowest position. This one too and that one too. In case you want to fold down the seat, and enter so this head restraint is only adjusted for in case tall people sit then to make it more comfortable they will bring up the head restraint okay you have a seat belt down here so this seat belt is for the uh for the for the passenger for this passenger this one it shows center center is actually for the passenger in the middle and then uh the other one this is the this one I think is for the side and then this one is the third that the this one is actually the belt uh, for the middle passenger can't see where the belt is uh, I'll look for the belt later maybe they have thrown it underneath the seat or something like that the previous vendor could have done that okay to lower the seat just hold this one down and let it crash down on its own on its own and then after that just leave it up this way and that's it so that's already the uh, fold up the seat and then you can actually enter the back like this so this is the back row so fold the seat in this position to actually enter the the, the back seat okay i'm trying to go to go in the back seat okay not much of room for the back passenger uh if i fold that one up then it's going to hit my knee because uh this this seat is quite far back that way so not much of room either 
I have uh, this much of headroom between the top of my head and the top of the car itself. Okay, and being 178 centimeters tall, these were not in very. Uh, I need to raise this one up to sit comfortably because this is pressing against my back. So uh, for tall people, you have to raise up the, you have to lift up the uh, head between down there. And at the back, you see have a cup holder, then some little storage down there, and that one I believe is the speaker coming up from there. Okay, because there are no speaker on the uh, rear door, so I believe the there's the speaker for the car itself. And then this one here is the mid. Ah, I found out this one here is a seat belt for the middle passenger. Okay, so. Uh, that's where you stole the thing up there okay so uh, push it this way to release it and then pull it down this way okay and then as usual this one goes into that one down there and this one goes into the other uh, the other buckle which is already hidden underneath that seat down there Okay, I'll demo to do you that one afterwards. Uh, I'm just getting out of this car now. Okay, this is as far front as the Honda BRVC can can go. Uh, in this case, if you still fold, tend to fold it down. It's a bit tight, huh? It's a bit tight gap down here. Okay, because this is going to crash into there. Okay, so if you need to fold it down, you can. Bring the seat so far forward okay so this is the most forward the seat position can go all right so let's get it back so this is as far forward that's as far back as he would go okay to open up the hood just uh, just locate the honda badge and slide your finger down here underneath here is the holder it's actually in the middle there's rubbery part down here so it's actually this part in the middle so there's a soft button down here to press to open up the hood so you can hear the sound when I press the button so there's a request to open the hood from there's a request to open the tailgate from there uh, there's a rear view camera down here for reverse uh, when you reverse when you put your car in reverse this camera activates to give you the rear view and then you have got two uh, license plate lamp down here just for the license Okay, so this is in the, the rear seat. To fold on the rear seat, there's a lever down here. Push the lever forward. Uh, before that, make sure the head restraint is all the way down if you have already folded it up. And then fold it down this way to lower the seat back. This one too, on this side. You can do like that. Okay, once you've done that, the seat already fold forward. And then if you like to have even more room, you can fold up this whole thing uh, parallel to up there so pull this strap to release the seat and then the seat goes up like that and then this one you can use to anchor you can anchor this one underneath here also can underneath here also can but because here the gap is a little bit bigger so i choose this one down here you can actually anchor to any one of these but these these are very tight this one seems to have more space so you can lift the seat like that so that the seat doesn't come crashing down when the car is in motion okay the jack is in here uh, uh, okay i finally managed to open this the jack the hazard signage is in there and then together with a screwdriver the towing hook and then the the nut wrench and then uh, this one is to raise and lower the jack so actually you connect this you connect this end to here and then you turn to uh, raise or lower the jack itself so this end actually goes into the uh, this this end actually goes in there and then this end goes in here and then you twist to uh, operate the jack the spare tire is located underneath the car so what you can do is use this use this and put it in here to lower the uh, to lower the spare tire the spare tire should be underneath the car uh, should be able to see from from the camera but i can't see it from my angle okay so that's how you lower the spare tire for the car itself so this is the screw to lower the spare tire the cap there is, there is supposed to be a cap here but i think 
uh, the previous fender has already removed the cap but forget to put it back okay so uh, this car probably has suffered a puncture before and somebody has replaced the spare tire so again uh, again the jack this end goes in there this end goes in there to operate the jack and then use this put it in here turn to lower the uh, spare tire spare tire is underneath located underneath the car and then when you have replaced the spare tire you might want to lower the back seat and put your broken tire here and while you drive to the tire shop to get the tire to be replaced so when everything's when you need to put back everything just make sure they're all in this position like this and then anchor this against this and tap around to close the uh, to stow away all your jack so align them like this okay so tap around and then close it up like that okay so that's so much so for the, the jack itself and then to return the seat to its original position just release this one release this one make sure it doesn't get make sure this doesn't get caught underneath any of the parts if we, if you get caught this is at least the end result scraping the bottom of the of the holder then carefully lower the seat down and let it fall down on its own weight so that it locks properly and pull up this one until it locks in place okay so i've turned the honda brv back to seven seater mode so now it's in so now it's seven seater just now it was five seater because this will entirely fold down and lift up so that is the and then if you like more space fold this one down fold that one down too so you get more space uh, for the car itself this is about the third seat belt that i talked about just now so lower down the seat belt from there and then this end this end goes into this buckle down here see which end it goes in uh? it will be this end okay it goes in that way and then locate the one that says center so this is the one that says center so this one goes into the place like that so you get a three point uh seat belt like this then to release just push this one to release and then to release this one there is a there is a, a little iron notch down here so insert this into the hole there to press it out i'm gonna try to do this in one hand but which is which not very successful in the past few times so let's try it out uh, like this I've got it in there like this, so uh, just oops. Okay, got it in there. Okay, I've got it in there like this, so just push it down. Just push it in, in, into the hole, uh, into the hole to release it out. It's not very difficult to do it one hand. Uh. Okay, it has already come out. All right. So again, uh, this little buckle just insert into the gap like this to push out the this seat belt after that take it up and let it retract all the way back up there let it retract all the way back up there and then this one uh there is a hole on this side so just this one take this one here and then anchor in there Okay, so once you anchor this thing into the little into the hole up there it will stow this in place so this is the third seat belt all right the next thing i would like to show you is the honda brv it actually come with the middle row uh air condition because if you can as you can see right now i'm sitting in the i'm sitting in the middle row so there are three blowers down here okay so this this air, this set of air conditioning is uh, operated separately from the main aircon itself and if you can see right now the main aircon i have already turned off however i can still operate the aircon down here and then you can still blow but when it because the front aircon is is off so this one you can see it blow it still blow out air but it's only hot air lah from there okay so let me turn on the air condition okay i have turned on the air condition down there so you can see uh the this air condition is on speed is low it's blowing on some speed it's blowing down there 
Then when I come up to here, I can still operate this aircon and then now it blows out cold air. So I can feel the cold air coming out right now as you can hear the aircon. So as you can hear the aircon sound coming out, the blower coming out, so it's actually cool air uh, right now. Okay, so this is the middle row aircon and it operates on uh, three speed. It's off first. First speed, second speed, high. Okay, so that is the third row air condition. Okay, uh, some did suggest that these are the air, these are the inlet uh, for the for the middle row aircon itself. So uh, this one, I've just these are the this is what I heard from. Uh, what what outside what uh some people out, outside there they actually say lah so they say this the inlet and then it goes up on the back so I I have no evidence on this but uh, I just convey what other people have said about this uh, to you so okay so some say this is the inlet well uh, I have no evidence to deny the thing so I just take it at face value like that. Okay, so let's take a drive. Let's take a short drive to see the uh, to see this petrol uh, to see the fuel gauge. Uh, not the fuel gauge, the fuel consumption meter. Uh, I'm doing this is because the road has been closed up by the by the people around here. So there's naturally not not many car around. Uh, so if you're trying to do this on your own, please be very careful. Pay special attention to the traffic around you before you do anything like this. Okay, uh, I'm doing this on a, on a very isolated spot. So as you can see right now, uh, the fuel gauge, uh, the fuel consumption gauge is increasing. The the reading is increasing, showing a reduced uh, fuel showing increase. Uh, sorry, showing reduced fuel consumption. So at times you can get up to maximum 30 kilometers per liter. Uh. So that was a current fuel consumption. Okay, so I hope this video helps. So this has been the year 2018. Honda PRV. Okay, so if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if you like to know of any other further new videos that I have already made. So thank you for watching and bye bye.